Good afternoon, everyone, and a warm welcome to our graduates and the families who are with us today, foundation members, students, and others who are joining online. A special shout out to our students who are watching from Seminar Hall 1. We wish we could have had you here, but we are rather a full house today. I am Padma from the alumni office, and today it is my pleasure to welcome all of you. Today's convocation is very, very special. Possibly one reason, and the main reason for that is that we almost have all our graduates with us today. Uh, we had a large number of sign-ups. And uh, we're really, really glad that we advanced the undergraduate and MA economics programs graduation a little to catch all of you before you fly out or fly away. So thank you for being here. Also, this is our very first convocation in the heart of our new campus. So it's just, uh, it's just amazing to be here on the podium and see a full house. Another reason to celebrate today, and it's a big one for many of us, is that uh, this is the 10th batch of the university. So, yes. It is, it is a big day for us, and uh, this time we are going to celebrate with two convocations, not one, because the batch size is so large that we can't have all our undergraduate and postgraduate students and their families together in this hall. So a big hand to all of you who have made it and got a seat. <laughs> so today we have 168 graduates 140 have signed up and I think trickling in, thanks to the traffic. And with this, with the graduation of this batch and the postgraduate batch, which will graduate shortly, the alumni community becomes 3,000 plus members. So 3,000 alumni, many studying, 500 odd undergraduate alumni studying mostly, but our postgraduate alumni who are the larger chunk, 80% of them, are all working with the vision of the university in the forefront of their minds. So this is something that we celebrate too as our alumni network grows. I take the opportunity to welcome the graduates to the alumni community, and we promise we'll keep you engaged. I now welcome our dignitaries on stage. Well, they've already got on stage and they're here. Thank you for being with us today. We are missing Mrs. Premji, but uh, we will go forward and have uh, Arjun, our director, School of Arts and Sciences, to give the welcome address. Well, thank you all for being here. Uh, I'd like to uh, welcome all of you here, all the well wishes, um, parents, family of the graduating class. Um, but my remarks are really going to be aimed um, at the graduating class, right? To all of you on that side and all at the back. And the reason for this is I realized that I don't have any more opportunities to write stern emails to you or admonitions or anything. Or even if I do, I know you can ignore them safely now. So this is my last chance, and I'm going to take it with both hands, because I have things to say. Um, I'm acutely aware that uh, Anurag is on stage, so I will say three things uh, in his honor. But don't worry, those three things won't have three sub-things you know, embedded in them. Um, so the first thing I want to say, first word I want to say is pride. I cannot tell you how proud we all are of you at this moment, how proud we are and how proud I personally am of all of you at this moment. And the reason for that is not just simply that you've accomplished what you've accomplished, but you've accomplished this in a period in the last two years which have been extremely difficult for you and for everybody, right? Um, I recall many of you coming in in your first years, the, that, that is the undergraduates, you know, sort of tentatively making their way through uh, what was a big step out of your homes, and then you were all upended, hit on the side by the pandemic. And yet somehow, you know, through all that, with good cheer, with good heart, 
you, you went through all those terrible, terrible Zoom sessions. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? <laughs> you made it through the, the difficulties of being alone, trying to work through this extremely rigorous program. So at the end of it all, you're here. So congratulations to all of you for that. It's been really a remarkable achievement. That was the first thing I want to say. The second thing I want to, second word I want to uh, sort of instill today is uh, gratitude. Um, I'm going to ask you to do something unusual. I'm going to ask all the graduating class to close their eyes for maybe 30 seconds. Please do close your eyes. I know you. OK? And I want you in your mind's eye to please think of someone here who's not here, you know, who's been important to your journey. And you all, all have that person, right? It's the grandparent, a uh, sixth standard teacher, a friend, you know, a neighbor who gave you the right advice, and so on, right? And I'd like you to maybe, just in your heart, because they're not here to celebrate with you, to thank them, OK? OK, don't open your eyes yet. Right? <laughs> because if you have to actually look, you'll see that there's not just one person, right? There are many, many people who did many things for you which brought you here. A friend when you had few friends in school, um, a neighbor who used to play with you, someone who used to take care of you, right? So you can open your eyes now. I think it's important. What am I trying to say? You've always with you, through your life, carried an army of saints, minor and major. You know, people who have spoken to you in everybody's mother tongue, which is of love, and have cared for you. And if they were here today, they would cheer as well as everybody else, right? So they're cheering for you as well. And it's important for you, in some sense, to acknowledge that whatever you've done, whatever you've achieved and will achieve, it's been with the blessings of this huge army of people in your rearview mirror. So that's the second thing I wanted to say, right? And the last thing I want to say is to speak a little bit about the future, right? Um, you're going to be stepping out into the world. I know some of you are already there. And it's kind of an exciting world. It's a world full of uh, new things. It's a, there's, there's joy, there's a bit of worry, there's excitement, there's a cacophony to the whole thing. But it's also important, right, to acknowledge, you've always known this, that it's also a mutilated and somewhat wounded world that you're entering. Now, that's not your fault, but it becomes now your responsibility. Right? I, um, when I, when I uh, think about this, you probably have heard this from UI1, but you are part now, in some small way, of all the good things and bad things that happen in the world. Right? So I want, in some ways, I'm hoping that in some ways, that the next few years, you realize that there's something sacred about life. Right? There's something sacred about what's going to happen in the next 10, 20, 30 years with what you do. All, all of us, deep down, we know that life is short, you know, even though it doesn't seem like that. And it can be utterly cruel, as we kind of you know, had to experience last semester. Right? But it also means that every moment, every day that you're alive is a miracle. And you're connected to this vast world. Right? And in some sense, you more than every, anybody now, knowing where we've been and knowing you know, what, what's required, that you will at some point, I hope, step up. What do I mean by that? I mean that often people think about the, what they want to be in life as being either happy or passionate, right? Um, and of course, you should be happy. But you know, in the next few years, you'll have a lot of self-actualization, a lot of things that you'll be learning about yourself. But at some point, stop, forget yourself, and look around. Because the world has many problems, many things that you can really do well to engage with. Choose one. Unfortunately, there's, there's a huge number to choose from. Right? Choose one and stick with it. Find purpose. Right? And passion and happiness will come after that, along with that. Right? And one day, you will plant your feet firmly on the ground. You'll plant a flag, and you'll say, OK, I'm here. I'm present. This is what I'm here for. 
Okay? And at that moment, close your eyes again and think back, because all of us here are also going to be there cheering for you. Okay? All right. Be well. <laughs> do well. And most importantly, without any embarrassment, go ahead and do good. Congratulations again. <laughs>
uh, and hopefully more relevant, more useful, both to students and the communities that they live in and the country. Um, we'll also get students to move into that 40 floor hostel. Uh, so the guest residence will actually serve the purpose for which it was built, a residence for guests and not for our students. Uh, so campus will grow, the program will grow. Uh, that's a quick summary of some of the things uh, that will happen over the next few years. Coming back to today, uh, you are entering the next phase of your life. I do hope you will remember everything that Arjun said. Gratitude, thinking of the people who have helped you, and making sure you help as many people as possible in whatever you do. Throughout your life, I hope you will remember the purpose of this institution, contributing to more just, equitable, humane, and sustainable society. More than anything, I do hope with whatever you do, whatever you say, big or small, you will help to make the world a gentler and kinder place for everybody. Thank you. All the best. Um, we'll begin the distribution of the degree certificates. Sunandan? Good afternoon. So special. A special welcome to all the graduating students and guests. Uh, we have, I'm Sunandan, faculty at the School of Arts and Science. Uh, I have the privilege of announcing the names of uh, graduating students of class of 2022 for BA Humanities, uh, BA Economics, and MA Economics. Uh, so we have 67 students from BA uh, humanities, sorry, BA Humanities and BA Economics combined, and we have 24 MA students, MA Economics students. Uh, it's fortunate that most of the graduating students are here, and we are very happy then. So I'll be announcing the names uh, in alphabetical order, and so please come to the stage one by one, in front of the stage actually. Uh, and. Uh, so I'll be calling names in groups of 10. For our safety, we'll be following COVID uh, protocols. So we will avoid handshaking, but you can remove your mask for the photograph. <laughs> OK. So we will start now. But first, it's a special appreciation for Amber Gangola. who is no more with us physically. Amber was a lively presence amid us for the past four years. As we all know, he was an intelligent interlocutor in class, a creative mind who could turn, turn in a rap song for his assignment. A great friend to many of you, a caring bhaiya to others, and loving son to his family. I invite the family members. Okay, we are starting with Bachelor of Arts in Humanities, C. Alagamai. <laughs> Shandal Jain DeCosta. Dia Elizabeth Prakash. Gauri Varma. Gayatri S. Nair. Haridra Meena A.M. Harshida Ved. Kalyani Narayan, Kaumudi Rawat, Lakshmi S. Dev, Maitreyi Kundu, Mekhana Rupakala, Muskan S. Mulumudi, Navya Jain, Nitya Ananda Yangaskarya, Nivedita S. Ponyogoti Nandida, Priyambada Oshin, Rutucha Sanjay Chawan, 
Saranya Kumar. Shwashwadi Suthakar. Shreya Narayan. Shreya Sandhya. Shristi Sinha. Swati Aravind. Tara Brahme. Titiksha Gupta. Zakia Sara Abbas. OK, that's BA Humanities. Now we are moving to Bachelor of Arts in Economics. Agash Aravind Kasagod. Aditya Das. Anang Nandakishor. Anjali Karen Kapadia. Aravind Kacham. Challa Vaishnavi. Dhairya Bhatt. Gaudam Anil Warrior. Ipsida Mohanti, Angeline Aparna Varsha, Jay Vilas Kulkarni, Kushi Dahya, Kishoryam, Kridika Chandrasekharan, Minakshi Pradeep, Nandida Ajit, Nadasha Somaya K, Neelima K. Neetu Aram Nishka Raman, Priyanka Pundlik Jubbag, Priyanshi Tripathi, Raman, Ravi Matthews, Samiksha Kumar, Sejal Sharma, Sharmari Ajay Dharaskar, Shri Darshani P, Shri Jit Das Gupta, Shrita Sambat, Smriti Maitreya Anand, Shruti Suresh, Suredi Gitanisha, Tanika Shankar, Taina Tabia, Vakalagada Abhijit, Vijay Shri Jesh Jairaman, Yashasi Chopra, Yashasi Chopra, Yashaswini Shama. Yes, Sini Sharma. OK, we are now moving to Master of Arts in Economics. Abhyudai Tiwari, Akshit Arora, Ayush Mangal, Devraj Nath Gupta, Dhruviga Damija, Gadala Ganesh, Jay Sundari S. Yes. Joseph C. Stephen, Kathleen Darshani, yes. Kriti Byron Shah, Midilesh Verma, Mohammad Tahir Hamad, Nancy Puran Devapura, Neeraj Nambiraj Ramayandran, Nevin K. George, Pranav Gupta, Priyanga Sosa Varghese, Ramakrishnan, yes,
रिधि लखियानी ऋषिकेश उमाकांत बिरादार शैलेश अग्रवाल शिवांगी छेत्री श्रद्धा सुंदर शुभी गार्ग ओके सो दैट्स इट फॉर द बी ए ह्यूमैनिटीज बी ए इकोनॉमिक्स एंड एम ए इकोनॉमिक्स ए बिग कंग्रेचुलेशन टू ऑल ओके वी विश यू टू कंटिन्यू इन कॉन्टैक्ट विथ अस एस्पेशली विद अलिमनाई कम्युनिटी सो वी विल नाउ वॉच अ कैंपस लाइफ फिल्म विच गिवस अस अ ग्लिम्स ऑफ ए डे एट असीम प्रेम जी यूनिवर्सिटी आफ्टर विच our chancellor asim prenji addresses with special message for graduates the campus film So after pursuing bachelor's in media studies I worked as a journalist while doing my stories I often um, lacked to connect it with the kind of academic scholar work that was there um so at APU where the course is structured in this manner where there's both practicum work as well as intensive course material readings uh you kind of get this academic consciousness built within you that's what i was seeking and that's what i'm here for when i applying for APU the bsc ba mathematics course is somewhat interesting to me uh, i i attracted for the main term uh, education for a social change so i joined here so all the courses are doing a fantabulous job in terms of helping me reflect upon what's exactly happening it's helping me connect uh, different dots uh, for the system from the perspective of child from the perspective of school school's a system it's a different space from other colleges uh, it's definitely not as competitive i in our classrooms we find that instead of trying to show that you have understood the topic the best people will say oh as navya said I'm adding on to that <laughs> and um we we generally try not to put each other down. Din ki shuruaat saath mein hostel se hoti hai. Saath mein sham hoti hai. Sham ko chai, kabhi ghumna, kabhi campus mein sirf baith ke apni kahani batana, apne kuch bhi vichar saajha karna, kabhi sirf khali baith ke apni kavita likhna ya kuch bhi jo aapko sukoon deta ho, jo aapko shanti deta ho, wo is campus ne hame diya hai. ये बहुत ही शायद जीवन का एक अनूठा एक अद्भुत और बहुत ही अनोखा अनुभव है जो शायद ही मैं कभी दोबारा ले पाऊँगा सो so, मुझे कैंपस आके बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है instead of learning which will ha which happen in inside the classroom uh, there are lots of uh, activities we, which are carried out uh, outside the classroom like the, uh, there is a gardening club there is a music club uh, there is a craft club then uh, cul uh, cultural club and celebrity diversity club where we can so the always people engage in different activities Uh, I think my favorite space in campus is any space where there is some activity going on. Uh -huh. So I like to go and be part of activity and like to go and be part of clubs, like to be a part of discussions, um, whether they're formal or informal. I like to be a part. I like to watch people present things that they're very passionate about, mm -hmm. and you just learn a lot more um, through all of these other outside spaces that you have.
यूनिवर्सिटी में खेलों का एक अलग उत्साह है जिसमें क्रिकेट है वॉलीबॉल है बास्केटबॉल फ्रिज भी टेबल टेनिस और हम चूँकि अलग अलग बैकग्राउंड से आते हैं तो हम अपने यहाँ एक या दो गेम खेले हुए होते हैं लेकिन यहाँ आके हमें अलग अलग तरीके के गेम हमें खेलने को मिलते हैं और जहाँ हम एक दूसरे को बराबर रिस्पेक्ट करते हैं और एक दूसरे को सिखाते हैं जो गेम को पहली बार खेल रहे होते हैं No, I'm a really, I'm a beginner, so I, that's that's what I like about the place. Like they accept beginners, they like want the beginners to play okay. football, which is like usually not seen any, anywhere else. Yeah. Uh, and this is why like you feel accepted here. Day in and day out, APU uh, kind of reminds me of the purpose and the reason that I was here for, and is helping me. Uh, learn and learn so this whole process is really really interesting i'm still in the first year the first semester i'm yet to explore this beautiful journey that lies ahead of me good afternoon to all of you all can you all hear me clearly and welcome to the 10th convocation of the university every convocation is a special occasion but this is particularly special because this is the first convocation being held at our university campus we are getting back to normalcy after a long period of pandemic imposed disruptions and restrictions Uh, as we celebrate the joyous occasion my thoughts remain with uh, those who have been deeply affected by the pandemic and particularly those who have even suffered or have lost their lives you have seen the struggle of the pandemic up close many of you started your journey with the university in 2019 and then the pandemic forced a long period long period of isolation and online classes over the last one year all of y'all came back to campus bringing vibrancy immense joy and happiness to all of us this is a unique experience and you will remember it forever the university also learned new ways of teaching learning and supporting you to navigate the pandemic together we have managed to the challenges therefore this important occasion is a testament to your grit and your perseverance my congratulations to you <coughs> your families and the friends <coughs> on this significant milestone of your career the last few years have been truly challenging but also an immensely fulfilling period for the overall foundation it opened my eyes to many different realities but also gave us the energy optimism and commitment to do more let me mention a few things our large scale response to the pandemic in addressing healthcare humanitarian and educational aspect was a stellar example of how our field teams our university our alumni and the partner network could come together and team and do such extraordinary work that directly touched over 110 million lives i repeat 110 million lives we learned a lot and this experience will influence our future in many ways expanding opportunities for us to contribute to a just equitable humane and sustainable society all of you are well aware that in the field of education we have been going deep on the ground work over the last 20 years we have now decided to direct work on the ground in public health we started in bangalore through health campus in slum settlements of bangalore benefiting over 50000 extremely poor and deprived people this experience has been encouraging and very soon we will have a full fledged we will have full fledged clinics in these locations and we will also expand our work in other regions of the country our bhopal university is nearing completion and we will start offering programs there from 2023 we have received approvals from the government of jharkhand 
for our university in Ranchi. The network of universities, I'm sure, will create a long-term impact for the country by developing young people to leaders in social change. Our work in education deepened further. We are working in collaboration with the government in supporting the implementation of the new education policy in which we have played an extremely particular and significant role. Uh, and we are working across the spectrum like assessment, curricular reforms, early childhood education, test book development, teacher education, and institution building. This work has the potential to bring about transformational changes in education. In the last 12 years since the university has been established, we have built a solid foundation. Most of the 3,200 graduates are working in the social sector across the country, contributing to fields such as education, health, livelihoods, governance, and sustainability. The university, the work in the field, and the support to our partner NGOs to financial grants will continue to expand. This is a direct expression of our commitment to contribute to a more just, equitable, humane, and sustainable society. And each one of you is an integral part of this challenging pursuit. As I conclude, let me share a few things for our graduating students, which may be useful for them as they go out and work in the social sector. First, integrity should be the beacon that guides us and the energy that gives us in our courage. Life is built on a strong foundation of integrity. Integrity is honesty in action, thought. Integrity is also delivering on your commitments to everyone. The highest form of integrity is commitment you make to yourself. We must not compromise on it in, under any circumstances. Don't deviate even marginally, for without integrity, no work has any meaning. Secondly, what your education has, been giving, has given you is a good foundation and some tools to help you understand issues faster and deeper. Remember, as you start moving ahead, be it for further education or for work, your experiences will teach you even more. You will face challenges that you have encountered, not encountered before, and this is a time for you to face these real-world challenges. Don't be faced by them. Stay the course, build resilience, and learn from these challenges. We must also have the humility to be open and maximize our learning from our experience and to use what we have learned at the university to enable that. Third, your time at the university has encouraged you to be questioning and critical. Please recognize that it is even more important to be constructive and contributing. Unless we question with courage, critique cannot begin. But unless we, we are constructive, change cannot happen. I have a simple principle that I have, I have seen succeed. Ask questions and suggest practical alternatives while recognizing that people around you will have great wisdom and great knowledge. Fourth, empathy will help you stay grounded. It is absolutely the most important thing to understand the people you interact with. Show the patience, willingness to speak their language and live their life. They will have a different wisdom and understanding and it will be greater than ours. For you, it requires a conscious effort to not only remain only with people that you are comfortable with. Lastly, sustain your friendships. You have delivered, developed deep friendships and strong bonds around you. As you choose to pursue different career paths, it is very easy to lose touch with each other. Make conscious effort to keep in touch and be there for each other. You will find those friendships invaluable and they will serve as pillars of support for you in your times of difficulty. You have studied through testing times. I see this as your strength. Make sure your batch creates a unique name for itself through your work. As you do this, you will always be well to remember that life and path of Mahatma Gandhi, 
For those of us who have devoted our lives to the social sector, we cannot imagine a richer and more nobler inspiration. Let me congratulate you again on your graduation and wishing you the best in your future endeavors. I am confident that each one of you in your own way will make a real difference to our country. On this path and quest, the Azim Premji University is always there for you. Wish you the very best as you begin the next stage of your career. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Um, we're here to perform a song for you. Um, I'm Gayatri. I'm Neha. That's, that's our look, um, as you know. And um, we're going to be performing Kabo Ke Parande, which is from the movie Zindagi Na Milegi Dobhara. And um, we chose this song because uh, the meaning just seemed absolutely perfect for this occasion. It essentially talks about um, letting your dreams take flight into the sky. And the core theme of the song is um, Jo Bhi Ho Soho, which is basically what will be, will be. And um, just leave your worries behind, basically. And yeah, so <laughs> then we'll start. Oh, um, sing along if you want to. जादू ऐसा था हम हो गए 
जैसे नहीं वो पल जाने कैसा था कहे दिल की जाओ दिल की तो जहा भी लेके जाए और Wonderful performance. We will now announce the names of the graduating students from our BSc Biology, BSc Mathematics, BSc Physics, BSc B.Ed. Biology, and BSc B.Ed. Physics programs. I am Kripa Gauri Shankar, faculty at the Arts uh, School of Arts and Sciences, and I have the privilege um, to invite the graduates onto the stage. Today, 77 graduates from these programs are graduating. And I would like to make a special mention of our first graduates from our four-year teacher education programs who are graduating with a dual degree. A special welcome to our BSc B.Ed. Biology and BSc B.Ed. Physics students. We are glad that many of you could make it to Bangalore for the convocation, our very first on campus. As in the previous round, I will announce the names of graduates in alphabetical order and in groups of 10. Please come up to the stage as your name is announced. And once more, for our safety, uh, I am reiterating that we will follow COVID protocols while graduates come to stage. This year, we will avoid shaking hands. However, graduates can remove their masks, masks for the photo as they come up onto the stage and receive their docket. So I will first call out the graduates of BSc in biology. Agneep Ahana G. Murthy. Akshay Ram, Ananya Parthasarthi, Ankita Jayant, Ayush Nilesh Thakar, Chandana T. R., K.P. Akilan, Manomi Joel, Maya Ramachandran, Megha Padbidri, Nantara Ramesh, Niyati Gadde Palli, Pradyumna Rajshekar, Sharon George, Shivali Varma, Srinidhi Rangarajan, Shri Vidya S. Sujay Gotipati. Tejas Abraham. I will now call out the graduates of BSc Mathematics. Aditya Dharmarajan. Monjit Chetia. Niranjan Krishnakumar. Patle Kwachita Ratna. Shobhit Singh, Shonti Sai Shri Panvi, Shri Shah Shanoi, Sonu Kumar, Tushar. Okay. I'll move on to BSc Physics, Aarti Parameshwaran, <laughs> Ananya Mukherjee, Aryaman Sharma, Chinmay. Devansh Kudesia, Abhishek Rao, Hardik, Harshini Ramesh, Harshini Vivek Sangle, Kalki Vundumati, Pavan Kumar Konkipudi, Medha R, Niranjan J, Sri Krishna Anand, Siddharth Menon, Now we have BSc in Life Sciences and B.Ed. Arushi Sushil, Aditi Sanjay Rao, Amulya Hosur, Anjali Achama Philip, 
ದೃಶ್ಯ ಎಂ ವಿ ಗೋಕುಲ್ ಆರ್ ಜಗನ್ನಾಥ್ ಎಸ್ ಕಾರ್ತಿಕ ಎಸ್ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ಜಗದೀಶ್ ಮಾನಸಿ ಸುಶೀಲ್ ಮಿತಾಲಿ ಮಹೇಶ್ ಸಾರಿ ಮೇಘಾ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರ ಮೃದುಲಾ ಕಲ್ಲೂರಿ ನರೇನ್ ಸಿ ಪವಿತ್ರ ಎಂ ಶ್ರೀಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ವೇಣುಗೋಪಾಲ್ ತೇಜಸ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಪಿ ಬಿ ಉಮಾ ಆರಾಧ್ಯ ಉತ್ತರ ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸನ್ ವಿ ಕೆ ಸಂಜನ ವಿ ನಿಶಾಂತ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ವಲ್ಲಪರ್ಲ ಅಭಿಷೇಕ್ ಯಾಮಿನಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಶ್ರೀಕಾಂತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ಬಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಫಿಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬಿ ಎಡ್ ಬರ್ಲ ವಿಷ್ಣುವರ್ಧನ್ ಬೂರಾ ಚಂದ್ರದೀಪ್ ಗರಿಮಾ ಅಗರ್ವಾಲ್ ಕಾರ್ತಿಕ್ ಭಾಸ್ಕರ್ ಕೊಡಲ್ಲಿ ಕತ್ರವತ್ ಗಣೇಶ್ ಲುನಾವತ್ ರಾಜ್ಕುಮಾರ್ ರೋಹಿತ್ ಬೈಸಾನಿ ಸಿಬ್ಬಾತ್ಮಿಕಾ ಬಾಬು ಸ್ಪಂದನಾ ಜಿ ವೀರೇಶ್ ಬೇಟಗಿರಿ So big congratulations to all the graduates. We request you to stay in touch wherever you are and share your adventures from the ground with all of us. Thanks for being such a wonderful audience. Um, I now invite Anurag Gupta to share his message for the graduates and for all of us. So thanks, Kripa. And with this, we come to the almost the very end of this uh, program, which we will formally conclude with the national anthem. Uh, but before we do that, I uh, just want to do two more things. Uh, the first thing is, uh, of course, uh, big, big, big thanks to all of you in this audience right now. All of you have come from different places. I know many of you have come from very far off places. I, I was chatting with a few people outside and some of you have come from remote places, uh, somewhere in Telangana, some people from Maharashtra and stuff like that. So thanks very much uh, for making it. Uh, Thank you, uh, Mr. Premji, for uh, gracing this occasion and uh, blessing all the graduates with the uh, graduation certificates. Uh, thanks, Rishat, uh, for coming in. And of course, Anurag, Bihar, and uh, Indu. Uh, I want to thank uh, Padma and team. Padma, where are you? Padma, Ridhi, and uh, Ramya, the alumni team, for making this event happen. And of course, the IMF team. IMF team, all of you, all of you standing there. Velu, where are you? Velu, yeah, thanks very much for making this event happen. Uh, I know we were uh, very, very worried about the rains. It's been raining really hard for the last two days, and today also we were very worried. Uh, is it raining outside? Can somebody confirm? No. So we postponed the rains for two hours today. Okay, it might rain at 6 o'clock or afterwards. But this was a real worry, and, and we really, you know, could have this function without any disruption. And finally, thanks to the young UG, uh, UG, I was going to say graduates, but not yet graduates, UG students, Gayatri and uh, uh, Neha, for this impressive performance. Okay? And of course, of course, Alok. Of course, Alok. Okay, so with this, just uh, one last message from my side. Okay, <clears throat> Arjun, I will not repeat you three messages. Uh, in fact, I will not give you three messages or five messages. Just one message. Only one message. which is don't forget us <laughs> don't forget the university so see see what i mean by this is that the only way i mean the only way i can think of of keeping the alumni network vibrant and strong is for you guys to stay in touch with the university there's no other way i mean from today you'll be going in different directions you'll be going in different jobs and of, of course most of you will be going for higher studies but unless you tell us where you are unless you tell us what you do unless you share your whereabouts and the kind of things that you do small or big doesn't matter keep in touch keep in touch with the alumni office you know that the alumni office padma and team they send a weekly digest every friday okay they will be sent to your emails please 
have a look. If not every week, once in a month, graduates there, once in a month, you can open the mail and take a look at what is happening in the world of alumni in the, in the university and stuff like that. So that's the only thing I request and demand from you. Stay in touch with the university. Okay, so with this, we conclude this program and we will conclude with the national anthem and I invite uh, Gayatri and Neha again to come up on stage. And can I request all of you to please stand up? Shubhanam, Shubhanam, Shubhanam.